Hi everyone, Dave Mitchell from Baby Renovations and it's the end of week seven of our Scott Street project in Beaumaris and it's a pretty exciting week this week because as you can see all of the windows and doors have arrived from Stegbar and the boys have put in probably half at this moment in time. So starting to take shape. Look at this stacking door, that looks amazing. Um, you've got sliding doors there. Marry up with height, the nice high doors, two of them. And if you remember that used to be a window in there, that's where the kitchen used to be. So that now, that big open space looks awesome with those walls removed and everything like that. So proud of the boys, they've done so much work, it's looking unreal. So on this side, we've actually got the big commercial window in there and obviously this butler's window as well is in. Oh, that looks so cool. That's a massive awning window. Um, so you can see now as well the height of the kitchen bench. So the stone will go into the 40 mil uh, aluminium frame of the window there. So it'll actually butt up to it and it'll go all the way along that wall. Um, that window there, that's a big fixed window. So that's that's going to look amazing. Oh, so good. Um, really taking shape. This floor's up so we can put our drainage point for the kitchen uh, and our water point here underneath. Um, so the plumbers are going to do that on Monday. Today's Friday. Um, you can see here, obviously I've been through this before, all the plumbing's done for the laundry. Um, we just need to cap that old drainage point there that was the laundry um, before. Um, also during the week, we've um, put all the doors in. So you can see this new sliding cavity door in the powder room and the door's actually in place as well. Um, and the plumbing's all in, of course. I think I mentioned that last time. Uh, and we've just removed the ceiling in here. Uh, we've spoken to our plasterers. They've come through getting ready for everything. Um, and we've um, we've installed the toilet. Um, we've put um, extra timber in the back of the sliding door so we can put the toilet roll holder on there without you know, worrying about the sliding door. Um, so it's got stability when you screw it in. Um, one of the things we've also done is, we've been in consultation, all of the flooring um, ducts where the, um, the air conditioning used to be. So it used to be through the floor, the heating and cooling. Now it's going into the ceiling. So you can see this is the large air, return air duct required um, for the huge unit. Um, to keep this house um, warm and cool. And we've just lined it with flooring. I'll show it better from the other side. Um, so let's go this way. Um, in relation to the flooring, you can see the floor ducts. So that's where we've like patched it in there. That's an old floor duct there. Um, and of course, I'm not sure if I touched on it, but we've pulled up all the timber um, that was in this section here, that's all of it there. And that's all going to be laid um, up here into this section here. So we're gonna relocate the old flooring that was down there into this section. And we've had to build some new steps. So they're brand new steps that we've built there. Uh, we'll have to remove that top section of timber because obviously there used to be checker plating on it and we'll tooth it all in properly so it's really really nicely done. And then down in this section down here, that whole floor area right around into the kitchen, that's all brand new timber, um, all secretly nailed. Um, so that's gonna look awesome. We haven't quite got to this window up here, um, but this one just sitting here, look at the size of that huge commercial window. That's going in this space here. So that'll be done early next week. Uh, in this room here, we've got all the sashes and everything sitting here for this new door here. So obviously that hasn't been pulled yet, but that'll get done early next week as well. Same with the main bedroom here. Uh, we've got the new window that goes there. We've got the, the bathroom window here that you can see is translucent, so you can't see through that one. Um, and that, that's the window that actually goes into this location here, into there. So uh, another thing the boys have just done, we actually ended up pulling the... Um, the plaster off the ceiling of the ensuite. Um, and of course, this room is, is all been plumbed and, and everything's ready to go. Um, all the flooring's down, all the underfloor, um, you know, the uh, cement sheeting ready for waterproofing um, is down. 
Plus, we've spoken to our cabinet makers. They've come through. They've, you know, measured up everything for the um, the mirror shaving cabinets. They're going to have LED lights the entire way around them now. Um, so that's going to look pretty cool. On this side here, we've got the sliding cavity door in now in the ensuite as well. And you can see here where we've back blocked for tower rails. So it goes right across there and even across where the door is. So it, we can screw into timber even where that cavity door is. So you can see the room's all completed now. That ceiling's removed. So just so that we can get it perfect. We, this ceiling's about five mil out of um, level. So we're gonna pack that, make sure that's perfect before we put the new one in. And of course, all the wiring uh, is almost complete. In the robe, we've had to build this 500 by 500 box and that's for the return air, for the air conditioning that's going in. So that'll just be hidden in the cupboard. Um, in that back corner there so it'll still look as if it was always supposed to be there you'd never even know it was there um, it'll be hidden so that's really cool um, just moving on through um, down to the bottom section of the house where the boys are uh, just come down here they're doing all windows down this end um, so young Mal up there putting a new window in. You can see that's translucent, uh, that window. It's just plumbing it up. Um, again, all the plumbing's done there. Cement sheeting's down. Cement sheeting's down here as well. That's the translucent window that's going in that hole there. So obviously that's um, that's for the main bathroom. Again, this is all plumbed. It's all electrical's done. Um, all the uh, cement sheets down in here as well and it's all back blocked everything's back blocked and ready for plaster um, again in this room here the new door jam and door is on the same here actually all the doors and door jams are on um, and in this room so uh, one of the second or third bedrooms um, that's the window that's going in here so that'll go in next week Again, brand new door, brand new door jam um, has been installed uh, in here. And then this, this is super cool. <laughs> Look at this big window, it's massive. Look at Tommy smiling there. <laughs> yeah, <it's hard>. <laughs> <Hey>? <laughs> Looks unreal, so good. This actually used to be four sections, I think, not three. So now we've got three huge windows and two of them are awning um, that open up. So that's really cool. Um, down in this section here, we've got the new door um, and door jam. We've got the window ready to go in this section here as well, in there. Um, and we've also pulled the timber on the sides so we can maximize the space of the rope. We're just gonna build a little header across the top and that way the doors can be really tall, almost to the ceiling. Um, that's about it. I'll just go outside quickly, just to give you an idea of what these new doors and windows and stuff look like from the outside. So, really, really cool. Now, this little balcony area, you've obviously got that um, sliding door on that side. That was always like that, but this side, that's a big new uh, sliding door as well, and that used to just be a window above the kitchen. So, that's... That's really cool. We'll just have to put one bit of board along the bottom there. Um, this one, um, it actually fits quite well. Uh, we'll just um, fix that up slightly. You can see that's that new window that where I just was, where Tommy is now. Um, and um, around this side here, uh, the stacking door um, that's beside the fireplace is really, really cool. That looks unreal. I think that's fantastic and we just cut the decking board there and then we put it so the height is absolutely perfect it's level it looks it's, it looks like it always was supposed to be there and that now this section here is so much more open that looks awesome right beside the fireplace that's unreal i can't say how much it's actually transformed the house and that there that really tall door that's unreal um, so the rest of the windows are here, uh, obviously sitting safely in the backyard. Um, we haven't pulled that one there yet, but all of them, um, have arrived other than the front door. We're waiting on the front door. Um, 
that should come hopefully uh, next week. Uh, we've got short weeks with the Anzac long weekend, but um, yeah, all in all is really good. So the boys will continue next week to put uh, the rest of the windows and doors in. Uh, we've pretty much packed um, all of the walls out, so you can see all these all these little strips here. They're all packers to make sure that the walls are dead straight. We've um, this week in the ceiling here. Uh, we've uh, battened, like we've blocked out all extra timber wherever there's new plaster going in so that there's no sag on the joins and everything. Um, and that's everywhere. We've literally blocked all the old holes that need to be patched from the old lights. Uh, and then, of course, um, just continued on with any um, plaster, uh, uh, timber work that we needed for plaster. Um, so yeah next week we're going to finish off these windows we're going to make sure that all of our carpentry is absolutely perfect all these walls are dead straight we'll probably put the cladding on the other side of these walls um, hopefully um, the glazes will come and put um, all the glass in here um, the plumbers are coming to finish off the kitchen points uh, the water point for the kitchen and the um, there's some water points we need to put next to the toilets as well. We've already actually uh, back blocked for that there, as you can see there, and a gun potentially there, um, in case the, the clients would like to put bidets or something in there later. Um, and that's about it. Um, we've got the electrician coming in next week to do security stuff, um, and then obviously also finish um, all of the wiring required um, to complete the job prior to um, all of the plastering going on uh, the following week. So we've basically got two weeks to plaster. So it's go, go behind the walls. Once plaster goes in, then we're going to put all the timber, all the timber in. The floorboards will come back in. We'll do all the skirting boards and architraves around all the windows and everything. And then once that's done, then we can. Uh, that my tiler would have started actually after water, after the plaster will do waterproofing and they, he can tile and then the paint has come in once the tile is completed so that's the future um, ahead so it's been a massive amount of work done um, in the last week super proud of the boys excited for the clients thanks for watching